Hi, I am Robert Siciliano with JustAskJamalto.com. So, would you ever leave the house without your wallet, your keys, or your mobile phone? Maybe, but rarely. Would you ever get in a plane and go on vacation to, say, a European country and leave your wallet at home? Probably never. We need our IDs and our credit cards in order to function domestically and internationally. However, what's happening to more and more Americans who travel abroad is that they're finding that many smaller merchants in most unattended kiosks overseas won't take their American-based credit cards, kind of like this one right here, leaving them high and dry, making cash a necessity, and credit cards useless in these situations. You see, here in the United States, our credit cards use old magnetic stripe technology which can easily be copied or cloned. What the bad guys might do is they get an ATM skimming device and they put this over the card slot in the ATM. And when you slide your card through, it skims the information off of the back of the card. They take that information back to their boiler room operation and they put it onto their computers and they get a reader writer like this and they burn the information onto a white card. Now this card has the information that your card did and they can use this at an ATM machine 24 hours a day compromising your credit card. Because old mag stripes are vulnerable, countries like Canada, Mexico, Brazil and most of Western Europe have upgraded their cards to new EMV cards also known as chip and pin or smart cards. Much of the world is also implementing chip and pin too. EMV cards have a tiny computer chip just like this one right here all right, see that? How cool is that? That stores all your payment information in a way that makes it extremely difficult for the bad guy to clone or skim your card. Reports of Walmart, the country's largest retailer, wanting to go all chip and pin, followed by top media outlets like the New York Times, Fox News, and USA Today, all reporting on the hassles Americans face, along with the amount of credit card fraud being perpetrated, certainly raises an eyebrow. Even the UN Federal Credit Union is going to start issuing new chip and pin credit cards to its globe trotting platinum portfolio members who currently have trouble using the US issued cards overseas. Right now, travelers can use their old magnetic stripe cards, but will often find resistance or outright refusal of acceptance. The European Payments Council, the governing body responsible for achieving a signal payment market through Europe, recently announced it's considering a ban on the old mag stripes within the next couple of years. Refusal of your credit card might be an inconvenience in some cases, which would mean you'd have to pay cash or not make the purchase at all. However, in some cases, not being able to use a credit card might leave you stranded. Take, for example, if you park in a parking garage that is unattended by a human. Most kiosk space parking garages only accept the chip and pin, which would mean you're stuck in the garage until an attendant shows up the next morning. Many 24-hour gas stations in Europe only accept the chip and pin, so if you're low on gas, say after 10 p.m., you may not have the ability to buy gas with a regular credit card. I've read stories where Americans had to ask a local if he could pay him cash in order to use his accepted chip and pin card to get gas. So what can you do? Check out the resources on www.getfluency. Dot com, that's G-E-T-F-L-U-E-N-T-C dot com. Share your story or read or view other travels experiences, attend a special webcast, and let your voice be heard by providing your information on the Get Fluency site. I am Robert Siciliano with JustAskJamalto.com. Thanks so much for your time.